Hey guys, uh, a lot of questions, a lot of feedback from our workout yin and yang, particularly particularly movement standards and suggested criteria for RX. As stated, we have um, at least one athlete needs to be able to do the handstand walk. We definitely understand that there will be RX teams that may that all four athletes may not be able to do the handstand walk. That is okay. This still enables you to get a very good score for your team. We've tested this workout twice already. This will be our third time. The first was an all four person male RX team. Uh, they completed the workout in five minutes. The second was an, uh, a pretty average RX team where one male can do it um, pretty proficiently and our, our other male could not do handstand walks at all. Um, all but one of the all four person male RX team was able to complete that workout within the seven minutes. Today we're gonna test it with a co-ed team. We have a, a really proficient uh, handstand walker, uh, one or two average handstand walkers, and one uh, not so great handstand walker. So we want to demonstrate to you that this workout can still be performed. We're still meeting the suggested RX criteria, um, understanding that you know, we need to struggle through some of these workouts. So uh, good luck, keep training, and have fun. We're going to get the clock started. Three, a little bit differently today than what you're going to see on game day is that because my gym is not 100 feet or 30 meters in length, we're going to have to do a turnaround for this. Uh, this doesn't really impact the workout in testing simply because we we assume that uh, most athletes are not going to walk unbroken for 30 meters um, so there is going to be some break in there as long as they're making it every five meters all right so she would now be returning from the first 30 meters of walking lunge and she's going to do for this she's going to do 15 meters turn around and then do another 15 meters Okay. Now, another detail that we're going to provide is that for co-ed teams, we don't want you to assume that you have to do this in a particular order, all male, like your first two females or your first two males. We're going to allow the co-ed teams to determine the order in which they want to perform the workout. What that, what that demonstrates is that, so we just did 30 meters unbroken, all right? So what that is going to uh, allow you to do on game day is we're going to have to set your lane up appropriately. So today we did a female and then a male. So for demonstration purposes, Cody was able to pick up the 45-pound plate and begin his uh, overhead walk and lunge. On game day, that 45-pound plate is going to be at the end of Rachel's, or our first athlete, at the end of her overhead walking lunge because she had the handstand walk back in the relay style. So we're going to allow you, all our, the co-ed athletes, to set your lane up appropriately. So uh, Cody just walked back and now he's going to begin his 30 meter handstand walk. So he passed 5 meters. He has to make it to the next 5 meter mark. Good. So he's going to go for 5 more which would be his halfway point. Didn't quite make it, so he has to start back at the previous five meter start. Now we're also allowing you to kick forward of the line. As long as you begin with your hands in front of the line, you're good. And good, all right. So if this was linear, maybe he could have gone another 10 feet instead of having to kick down and turn back around again. But again, we're doing it in the testing atmosphere, not in our competition atmosphere. Good, so he made his five meters. He's gonna shake it out and then start again. Get behind the line. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Go. Go there. There you go. There you go. Stay with it. Come on, I'm going to go. 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 Go.
So this is the last five meters of 30 meters. And that's good. All right. So he's going to be followed by another male RX athlete, which would have worked out because he just left his plate down at the uh, the overhead walking lunge. We've got two athletes into this already. We're on our third, and we're just now at the three-minute mark. Just now at the three-minute mark. So you saw a very proficient handstand walker, what I would call an average, an average male RX handstand walker. And we'll see how Bernard does on this on this round. We're also allowing you to step through on the walking lunge. As long as you demonstrate hip and knee extension at the top of every step. You can do a toe touch if you want. You don't have to pause. You can walk right through. But as long as we maintain the standard of hip and knee extension while holding the plate in an overhead position. So that would have completed Bernard's 30 meter overhead walking lunge. And now he's going to move right into his handstand walk. So we got two minutes left of this workout. And we're on our third athlete. Again, I want to remind everybody that this is a skills test. We want to test the skill of a well-rounded four-person RX team. We met the criteria that at least one has to perform the handstand walk. We want to see how far most of your average RX teams are going to make it through in seven minutes. We're at 90 seconds left of this workout. Good, made it five meters. Excellent. You can kick up over the line. We just had a little hiccup in there. Made it past the next five meters. Awesome. Allowing him to kick up over the line. Nope, almost. Just about a meter short. What's our time left? Five more meters. Excellent, good job. So we're on our third athlete. He's completed 15 of the 30 meters. He's already completed the overhead walking lunge. He's trying to get back down on his handstand walk. All right, so there you have it. That's our third test trial of this. Our first test, all four men completed it in five minutes from NOLA. We had a uh, pretty average all-man RX team complete, completed also. Um, correction, three of the four were able to complete the workout, and we just did it with a co-ed team to demonstrate that we can set your lane up however you want. We met the minimum requirement, and two completed their rounds, and our third athlete did a round and two-thirds. So good luck out there. Keep working hard.